So working in PhotoP is almost identical to working in Photoshop. Um, even the keyboard shortcuts are the same. Most of the menus are the same. Um, so this tutorial will work in either place. So to start out, you're at PhotoP.com. I like working in full screen mode. It feels a lot more like Photoshop other than this little sidebar here. And you can select where you open something from. Um, you can just drag things just like you would uh, from Photoshop. So I'm gonna start with my template that I downloaded from Canvas. <clears throat> and if we go to image, image size, it's 25 by 17 inches at 360 DPI. Um, that's our print size, so that's the paper size that we would work with if we were going to print this, so that's where we start. Um, you can always create a document by going to File, New, and selecting your dimensions there. Now, I've laid out for you grids um, uh, and guidelines to help you lay those things out. Um, you make sure your rulers are on, um, and you can add guides here just by adding a comma. So I have it at a quarter inch, then eight and a quarter, eight and a half, and so on, um, so that it gives you the spacing for three vertical photographs. Um, if you have horizontal images, you'll have to uh, work them a little bit differently, but I can show you how to do that. Um, if I wanna create a new guide, I can always just click on the ruler and drag down. And then if I wanna get rid of a guide, oops, I can just click that guide and drag it back to the ruler. So I'm going to start by opening my photographs. So these are my before self-portrait, my self-care photograph, and then my after. So I can highlight those. And I'm going to drag it up here to the little menu bar, a little open space, and they'll open in tabs. I want to make sure I do that and then copy and paste them over to the document. If I just paste them right into this, it opens them not as a JPEG, um, and that can cause some problems. So you wanna open them like this, select all, Command A or Control A, copy, go over to my template and paste, and then Command A, Command C, and paste, and then Select all, copy, and then paste. Now, they're the same size. Um, they pasted on top of each other. So one quick way to uh, get them to fit, because I'll notice if I click on here on the gray part and just drag, I've selected all three. I can also just select all three layers over here. And I position this here. And you can see these are going to be too big. This leaves my quarter inch border, um, but that's where I want them to be lined up. So I'm going to go ahead with all three selected, press Command T, and then hold Shift. So that's free transform. And then I'm going to drag the corners. Come on. Well. There we go. And that should kind of snap to that guideline, which it does. And then I press return to set that. And then back on my move tool and then zoom out. And now I'm gonna select just here to unselect those layers. And then I'm just going to click and drag those into place. And I like doing that. Even if I didn't have guides, um, it allows you to resize them all at the same time. Because what'll happen if you're laying out photos on a page, you might make one small, and then you want to make the next one the same size, and you're having to zoom in and check and, and adjust the size pixel by pixel, and it's very frustrating. So here we go. That's it. I'm done. Um, so then I'm gonna crop out that extra bit of space that I don't need. So I'm gonna to go to my crop tool. 
Um, make sure that it's set to free so it doesn't lock your crop tool. And if I click in the gray part, it actually will include that in the cropping. So I don't, I don't want that. So I'm going to click just kind of on the corner and then I'm going to zoom in and just make that match. Let's see. Just kind of looking at this width. Go back out and then press return. And there you go. Now, you may want them to um, all be uh, next to each other. So maybe you don't want white space and you really like how it looks. And I also just realized that these photos are swapped. I want my first self-portrait, then my self-care, and then my after, this is my after portrait. So maybe you want them all next to each other. So I could, and this one I find photo P doesn't have the photo snap to each other. So I, I always zoom in because there will always be a little fine. There we go. Um, and then go over here and drag this one. There we go. And then what I could do is, again, select all, command T, and then drag those to here. Um, I'll also, you know, I would have wanted to do this before I cropped it because it's going to end up going beyond the bottom edge. Um, but that's how you could do it if you didn't want space. Now, if you have horizontal images, it's no different. You would stack them all. You could drag them smaller, then position them all next to each other. Um, they'll just end up being smaller. You could also do it the same way, but have the photos turned. Um, and then just when it prints out, it would print vertically. You know, you just uh, hang it up vertically. So it's like the first photo is on the top as if I was looking at it like... Well, like that. So this would be my first, second, and third. So you could also do it that way. All right. So I'm going to step backwards. All right. So there we go. Now, I have all my layers here. So I'm going to save a version of this. Um, oh, before I do that, I'm going to rename it. So I just click on the uh, name there in the tab. Cecil. OK, and then I'm going to save this Photoshop file so that I have it in case I need to adjust anything. I have all of those layers. So that's saving and it just saves everything to your download folder. So it's you're not saving over anything, which is actually a kind of a nice feature. So then I go to layer and I'm going to flatten that image. So now it's all one layer and then go to file export as JPEG. And this is what this is the file that you'll turn into Canvas. So I want to make sure my quality is at 100. Save, and there we go. So then over here, you can see there's my Photoshop file. It's big, 200 megabytes, and my JPEG is 28. So that's it.